Hello, everybody. It's Dr. Nick. No, I'm kidding. It's me, Matt's Creative. Hi, how you doing? Um, we're on Nabora. You can probably tell by the icon up in the top left and bottom left on the dock. Yeah, uh, I got bored. This is what happens when I run into instability sometimes with the new hardware that I have that I go somewhere a little more stable. And it's weird that we're, we ended up here, but I still love it. So what are we doing here? Well, we're here because this is where I'm going to be streaming probably for now on. Why does that still say the Cash OS logo? Why are you like that? Don't be like that. We need to change that. That needs to be changed. I am here because we were having issues with Cash OS and streaming and everything like that. And my brain got stale. So when my brain gets stale, what happens is I jump ship, I run somewhere else, and I like to be there. Now, what this accomplished was, one, all the icons inside of Quickshell now function and there's no leftover weirdness besides, well, that, but that will fix once I reboot. Uh, as you can see, everything's here and functions just the way that it should. That's the most important thing. That's what this refresh helped me accomplish. It helped me improve my dot files, which I very much enjoy. So what are we going to be doing today? Oh, oh boy, I'm going to show you something you don't know. So um, before I decided to jump into doing this, I created a folder that had these two little guys in it. Now, what they are for is clearly one gives me quick show. Just like that. So I enable this. This little thing right here, it's called a corp or a repo. And then I do sudo DNF install quick shell. And the other one gives me every single thing I need for hyperlint. I mean everything. Look at it. Look at it all. Now, there was another repo I installed to get NWG displays and NWG look. Um, I need to add it to the list. So I'm going to pause real quick. I'm going to go grab that. And then we're obviously going to add it to the list. All right, so there it is. This is the one right here. Now, this lets us grab a bunch of things, as you can see. So if we go into packages, there's a greeter, some bars, there's NGW display, there's look, there's menu panel. That's all the normal stuff that you'll find with NGW, NWG. And that's great because I use two of those applications. I've never actually i actually used the dock before but the dock's not very good it lacks a lot of features and stuff like that so i never bother with it um that's why i switched to quick shell in the first place is because it was way too limited and n4 had a better dock at the time but now we have the king of all docks yeah and i'm happy now um with these there's also a few other things you need to install and i list both of those right here Okay, so uh, sudo dnf install. One is LX poll kit. Okay, I'm gonna paste that in here. And the other one is the hyper poll kit agent. Okay, just like that. Now, uh, when this is enabled, okay, right here, this would be sudo dnf install uh, quick shell. Okay, when this is enabled, oh boy, there's a whole list of things you actually have to install from this. Uh, like, well, Hyperlint itself. sudo dnf install Hyperlint. And we would need, a, well, it, it's probably going to install the xdg desktop portal Hyperlint with it. Uh, why not? Let's try Hyper Paper. Okay, and hyper picker. I'm gonna just install everything, right? Because we want to make sure that we have everything, including hyper idle, hyper lock, right? Uh, there it is. There's the hyper pull kit agent right there. So that would actually be a part of this. Okay. Found that out later that that's definitely required. Uh, what else is here? I use SWWW and I also 
I believe, use MPB paper, which allows you to put MP4s as your desktop wallpaper. Uh, we also use Clip. Uh, what's it called? And, uh, you right there. Yes. Is it IST? IST. My eyes don't work like they used to. Really annoying. Uh, an application display information. We don't need that. Automatically rename workspaces, icons, and started applications. I don't think we need that because all of our workspaces and everything functions perfectly fine. I remember Hyperland plugins was something I installed. So we're going to do that. And other than that, I don't see anything else that needs to be installed. Right. And then all I did was place my dot config and dot local file. And that was it. It worked. And uh, that made me very, very, very happy. Ooh, there's also a QT configuration utility patched with proper integration with uh, KDE utilities as well. So, I mean, you're going to want that, right? There we go. So I did that and then I downloaded my own repo. Do I have anything in here that's incriminating? No, I don't. Right. So I downloaded my own repo right here. Okay. It's new. It's updated now. It's, it's built in Fedora support and Nabora support because, you know, then I copied these two guys right here. I went to my home folder and I hit paste. Now, at first I was greeted with no icons except for the file because Nautilus is a goddamn boss. People really need to start giving it credit where credit is due and um i had to go and fix how icons and everything were done in general so another complete and utter revamp of that and that's where we are today where we actually have all the icons completely functioning there's no blank icons there's no weird you know uh what do you call it the the, the purple and black thing that's gone it will still pop up for some applications, but that's just because the doc doesn't understand that that application's the same application as the one it opened. It has issues with Xenity. I know that much. I did do a fix really quickly for uh, better control. So you can see the thing right there. There are still a few issues. Okay. One is the Nabora updater will not open uh, at all from hyper menu. So you have to actually do this like that, and then it will open. That's, that's a whole nother story. So why do I go through this? Well, I do it because in the future, uh, it's pretty easy to create a script that just instantly pulls this down. But here's the problem. There's some stuff missing. See, I also need material icons. I stole those from Arch. So I still have no way whatsoever to get the material icons. And, uh, that's a bit annoying but if i really really needed to i could technically go to google and type the material fonts and type the aur but right here see it right there and i could view the package build bad gateway to view the changes it's also a bad gateway the hell what the hell happened there why is it a bad gateway Okay, let's just open this zomp, this this right here. What is in here? Is that all it is? Is is that it? And then there's like CSS stuff, right? Okay, why is this down? Download snapshot? Bad gateway. That's annoying. What about you? You're not a bad gateway, are you? Because if you are, I'm going to hurt you. Yeah, so all it does is just grabs the master and then it basically puts everything where it needs to be. So all I would have to do this is convert this into, you know, what it actually says, where it grabs everything, it puts everything in the proper spaces into like a script and everything. In a nutshell, because of these corps, it's a lot easier to get everything running on Fedora than it is on Arch Linux, which hurts me to say but is honestly true weird the fuck is going on with the world yeah i discovered the world's very differently people don't know when they're being played which is sad because that means you know when you're having a bad day you can't use somebody as a play toy anymore not that you should but 
you know, we're all in different mental states, clearly, and you gotta do what you gotta do to be alive and stuff, so, yeah, that's a thing. Don't lead by example if you're not gonna lead a good example. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna have to figure this out, and I'm gonna have to adjust this accordingly, because I need them, because we use material icons everywhere. The entire thing is made from material icons at this point, and honestly, it's goddamn brilliant. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, ah, questions. This should make it easier for you to get this up and running on, um... Oh yeah, what is microtext? There was another goddamn thing that I needed to install. One second. I'll find it here real quick. We'll go back all the way to the beginning. There it is. So that's another thing we're going to have to add. Called Latex. Boom. Done. That installs everything needed from Microtext. Microtext. Yeah. So I just wanted to make this video to let you guys know that this thing is a complete and utter possibility and everything completely and utterly functions except for that one thing that doesn't and I can't get it to fix. Great, isn't it? That's just awesome. So again, uh, I'm not moving over here permanently. This is not a thing I do. I travel around in distros more than I think I honestly cut my hair or shave. So just, you know, go wherever you feel comfortable. Don't let anybody else put you down about it unless it's Linux Mint. And then, well, you're just purposely hurting yourself. Yeah. That's a thing. Hmm. Oh, well. Look, have you enjoyed the content? If you appreciate it, this step one more, uh, this one more step closer to figuring out my dot files, great. Let me know in the comments. Uh, subscribe, you know, like the video. Both of those help with the algorithm and whatnot, because you know that that needs to be a thing. Because algorithm apparently makes the world go round. No, it just makes people poor. Screw algorithms. And if you want to become a member with us on YouTube simple and easy to do check the description there's also a way to donate to me directly using ko-fi 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 it's a ko-fi we're gonna go with ko-fi and uh, there's a direct link to paypal there as well that you know makes it so ko-fi doesn't take uh, a percentage of that for themselves bye everybody thanks for watching